They clearly weren't quite dead and buried, but both Liverpool and Tottenham had the proverbial mountain to climb to beat two of the best clubs in Europe. But how much did the fabled bulldog spirit contribute, even in teams with foreign managers and players? Something about English clubs, maybe. Former Tottenham star and France international David Ginola, who played for four Premier League teams, thinks there's something extra with British clubs. I think this is probably the only place in the world where you can find such things. The will of the players, the passion around, uh, the supporters pushing in the stands. Um, everything is about, OK, it's not over yet. Something the England manager Gareth Southgate knows all about. Though, as he told Sky News, even he couldn't believe what he was seeing. I was in Anfield on Tuesday, so uh, left there th thinking I'd seen one of the most, inc I mean, I've been in football 30 years, one of the most incredible nights I can remember. For it then to be backed up by Tottenham on Wednesday was phenomenal. I mean, huge credit to both managers. Um, in different circumstances, they've achieved incredible seasons. But sports psychologist Dr Josephine Perry says it may be more about what Barcelona and Ajax's players didn't do than what Liverpool and Tottenham's did. If you're feeling quite comfortable and safe with your position, you don't play the same way. So you almost rest on your laurels, you step back a bit, you don't have that, that same energy and enthusiasm. Your activation levels aren't quite as high enough to get into it and to really enjoy it. And so it won't just be that the British sides did brilliantly, but the other sides didn't quite step up as much as they should have. And by the time they realised they were in trouble, it was too late. Too late. There is, though, a sting in the tail. The stellar performances of the two English clubs could backfire on the national team, who have a Nations League semi-final just days after the Champions League climax. You have great ideas as a manager of planning things and working with the team and in truth we'll have half of our squad that won't be with us until three days before. So um, more complicated but brilliant for, for the players. And there's food for thought for those who believe success is all about money. Liverpool and Tottenham have at least six teams with deeper pockets than either of them. So who win on June the 1st? Whoever wants it most. David Bowden, Sky News.